going to be looking at smoking. Now, in July 2007, smoking was banned in all public places across the entire UK. This made it an offence to smoke in places like pubs and restaurants, in offices and other workplaces. Smoking was also banned at certain outdoor locations, for example, football matches. Now, I'd like you to answer that first question I wrote. Give us four reasons why they've decided to ban them. Now, smoking, when it first came out, doctors were prescribing it. We thought it was good. But then research later on showed it was actually very detrimental and very dangerous. Now, you might have a loved one that smokes. My dad used to smoke, but he's, thank God, he's quit now. So, when, what is cigarettes? What's, why are they dangerous? What? Inside cigarettes, they contain tobacco. Tobacco is made from the leaves of the tobacco plant, which contains small amounts of a chemical called nicotine. Now, cigarettes are made from finely cut and dried tobacco leaves. When tobacco smoke is inhaled, the nicotine quickly enters the bloodstream and has a stimulating effect on the nervous system. The body can quickly become addicted to the nicotine um, at high concentration. Actually, nicotine, if you know this, nicotine is actually Nicotine is actually as a, used as an insecticide to kill insects, so it's very dangerous. If a person starts smoking, they can quickly find it difficult to stop. Why is that? Because nicotine is very, very addictive. Now, there's actually other dangerous chemicals in fire inside cigarettes as well. Uh, things like nicotine is one of them. Benzopyrene, a carcinogen, can cause cancer. It can be found inside the tar. You can also find it in fumes of cars and stuff like that. You've got arsenic, acetone, well known found in uh, nail varnish remover and also it, it affects your, um, your, your, your respiratory tract. So it's very, very dangerous. You've got lead, you've got formaldehyde, that's used to kill bacteria. You've got ammonia, benzene, cadmium, uh, butane, you've got, um, you got turbid, turpentine, that's, that's used for, for something to do with paint. You know, a paint, a paint thinner very very dangerous again has effect on your lungs uh, your kidneys it's very 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 dangerous honestly a lot of very dangerous substances are found inside this very small thing called a cigarette now there's also carbon monoxide now carbon monoxide is actually a product of uh, incomplete combustion now carbon monoxide why is that dangerous what it does is your red blood cells carry oxygen and the oxygen binds to hemoglobin producing oxyhemoglobin. It's then transported around the body and your, your cells need oxygen for respiration. What carbon monoxide does on the other hand, it binds irreversibly to red blood cells, which means it doesn't get off the red blood cell. And suddenly, your cells haven't got enough oxygen. So it can actually kill you in high amounts. Okay, you've already, you already know about tar being this brown sticky substance that can, seem, can consist of tiny particles and it's formed when tobacco smoke condenses very very dangerous okay smoking is extremely extremely dangerous and you want to think twice about smoking it especially about um, when we finish this lesson now there's actually other things smoking causes asthma lung cancer heart disease cervical cancer kidney leukemia which is um, cancer white blood cells sperm uh, abnormalities and the importance uh, there's uh, there's so much stomach cancers, bladder cancer, bronchitis, testicle cancer. There is just so much negatives to smoking. Now, I'd like you to answer this, these two questions, please. Choose two more chemicals found in tobacco smoke and describe the effects or dangers. I like to write down two. And also describe some of the health problems that smoking may cause. Pause the video, have a go at these questions in your book. I'd be more than happy if you participated in this sort of online engaging lesson that I do. Because of course, as you know, schools are shut and I like you to work from home. Okay, so have a go at this and uh, write into your books. Now let's have a look. Now this is actually a healthy lung and unhealthy lung. Look at the difference, it's actually substantially very very different i mean i'm very grateful that my father stopped smoking because he was a kind of a, a heavy smoker not long ago but he quit thank god and i want you to remember that you can quit now i remember all the advertisements that are coming on they also have a little a sort of um a little um little incentives to stop smoking on, on cigarettes and stuff like that 
Now, cigarette prices have dramatically increased. I remember when uh, the good old days when you could get a, I think a, bog, a back box of cigarettes went, well, like four quid back in the days. I think it's a lot more now. Now, what also I'd like you to do is see how much you can remember and if you can link these together. Okay, can you link these together? Write them down in your book. That'd be much appreciated. Uh, much appreciated by myself if you can remember the effects of the chemicals and the dangers of them as well so the effects and which chemical you're looking at okay so if you get stuck on this just pause the video rewind it back to where i showed you the effects of some of these some of these are really kind of straightforward and easy but some of them difficult okay now what i'd like you to do is write for me a letter to one of your loved ones and I like it in three paragraphs. One picture will be very, very good. I like you to break down the paragraphs into different sections and what I want. So in paragraph one, uh, first write a letter to, I don't know, maybe a couple of years ago, I'd be writing it to my father. Uh, in paragraph one, tell him what tobacco is and what are the chemicals in cigarettes. You know, how much uh, we talked about that. Why are these chemicals dangerous? We looked at that as well. And why should a person quit smoking? Use persuasive language in your uh, letter. Okay, thank you very much for uh, attending this lesson. I look forward to seeing your your letters. You can post them to me, or you can uh, you can comment that you've done them or whatever. However, you want to show it to the team.